Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from CG Factory. Today we are going to learn how to create a chain link fence. So let's fire up Houdini and let's get started. So here inside of Houdini we have our asset open. So let's see what we can do with this asset. So this asset was completely built procedurally so you have the ability to increase or decrease the height of the fence the fence height has been decreased you can uh, put in any curve and this will confirm to that curve as well <coughs> so let's just go back to the smaller curve that we were using from the beginning so let's just swap that so you can also choose the number of barbed wire that you want to use on the top part of the fence if I want to use it so as you can see the barbed wire has been added in and also you can change the angle of the top fence so right now it's in 45 degree if you want to add in more let's say if you want to go with 80 degree you can do that so as you can see our fence is completely bent it's almost 90 degree or you can keep it straight like this or you can also decrease the height of the top fence let's say if I want to go with 0.5 so you can do all those kind of things with this assets so let's go from the start and try to recreate these assets together so I'll create a new scene I don't want to save the scene so here inside the Houdini first of what we'll do is we'll drop in the geometry node and then go inside the geometry node and remove the file node and drop in the line node so right now our line only has two points we can definitely increase the number of points from here but I would rather add in the resample node to add more points so once I've done that, I'll get bunch of bunch of points in the line. So first thing what we need to understand is uh, to create the uh, fence. What I was using was I was just doing a basic uh, sine and cosine function. So let's just drop in the Wrangler node. So let's just say at P, that means position X, I want sine of point number so you can see that our curve is uh, deforming to a sine wave so if you want to change the magnitude of the curve what you can do is you can add in the multiple value outside the PD num and this will give you the magnitude value so if I want to decrease it I can multiply with a smaller number so here is our curve the magnitude is much less and if you want to increase the frequency the number of uh, wave you can multiply it inside the inside this bracket so you can see the number of sine wave has been increased so to make it much more uh, easy and convenient what we can do is we can just add in a channel so let's just say this would be our frequency and this would be our magnitude channel mag so if I click on that so right now our frequency is 0 and magnitude is also 0 so if I increase my frequency nothing will happen because I will need some magnitude to bend the curve so if I increase the frequency to 2 you'll see there are the number of wave has been increased so going back uh, to creating uh, this this chain link fence what I did was I used a uh, sine and cosine function so what I did was I copied this and paste it and then I I, I ran a cosine function on the Z axis so what this basically will give you is spiral and let's just increase the number of points let's just go with 0 
So this will give us uh, this kind of structure. Let's just go here. You can increase or decrease the number of frequencies. So this will uh, give us the control for the amount of spiral that we need and also there is also magnitude like before. So once we have created this uh, spiral like shape, uh, what we can do is we can basically just add in a transform node and then just uh, rotate it into uh, 180 degree. Uh, this will give us a reverse version. So once you merge these two together, you will have a shape that is similar to the chain link fence. So right now it's uh, it's a spiral or a circle if you look at from the top. And we what we can do is we can just add in another transform node under the merge. And then we can just uh, decrease the scale value on this one. If I go with 0.2, you can see we are getting getting the shape. But right now it's it, it looks a little too big. Maybe we can decrease the amount of uh, frequency. So if we go with this one, so this gives us a shape that we want. So once you have done that, copy it on a line or a circle. Let's just add in a circle. If you copy it in a circle, right now it's primitive. Let's change it into polygon. Uh, we want an open arc. If I copy this over here, so right now our circle is in XY plane. I'll change it into ZX plane. So all the line are flat on the ground. So to fix this, what we generally do is we add in a polyframe node and then uh, add the normal to the tangent U. If we do that, so our curve are facing a correct direction, but the orientation is wrong. So maybe what we need to do is in the transform node where we scale it on the Z axis. If we scale it on the X axis, this should work. So all of our curve are following the proper direction of the line. The only problem that we can see here is uh, there is a huge gap between our chain link fence. To, to fix that, uh, what we can do is we can add in another resample node, drop it underneath the polyframe, and then we can just increase the number of length so you can see that all of our chain link are now connected so this looks uh, a little too big what we can do is we can go back to our initial wrangle node and we can just uh, decrease the uh, increase the amount of frequency and decrease the amount of mag magnitude so once we do that uh, we will have a gap in between the chain link so in the resample node we can we can just in, uh, decrease the resample node and fix that problem. So here is our chain link. So if we drop in the polyframe node, uh, sorry, if we drop in the polywire node, we can see all of our curve are converted into a polygon. So we can definitely decrease the wire radius. So right now it looks a bit weird because the normal that we are getting from the polyframe is not uh, correct. So to, to fix this we can do is we can just add in a normal and this will fix the issue. So this is the first step on creating the chain link fence. Uh, so, so in the next lesson uh, what we will do is we will add in the uh, supporting pillar and also see how to create the barbed wire uh, that is on top of the chain link fence.